So I saw a post on Facebook that one of my friends made and it blew my mind. It totally changed the way I look at law enforcement, specifically DNA evidence. And I wanna share the story with you because it's absolutely mind blowing it, the implications for it. All right, welcome back, my name's Ethan. And one of the things I like to talk about is things that, that expand people's minds and just get them to think a look at issues a little bit bigger than they might all already be thinking about things. So, so what I wanna talk about in this video is something that I saw on social media in just the past couple of weeks. And when I saw it, I was like, whoa, this, this really opens my mind and changes my perspective on uh, you know, DNA evidence in relation to uh, crimes and crime scenes. And the story went something like this. One of my friends had posted, or reposted, shared a post by, uh, that was put up by a father. Uh, his daughter had asked a question, and he had posted this to Facebook as a good example of how things, uh, how we need to take a look at things with a different perspective. The story went like this. His daughter was looking at cutting her hair and donating it to a nonprofit called Locks of Love. That that nonprofit makes wigs for uh, women and girls who have lost their hair who have cancer. And, but the girl had asked her dad, she said, dad, if I donate my hair and the person who receives my hair commits a crime and leaves uh, you know, a bit of hair at the crime scene, that's got my DNA. Am I going to get in trouble for that? And to me, when I read that, I was like, holy cow, this really changes my perspective because from a societal standpoint, what we see on TV uh, and what we hear you know, from people, what we see in the news, DNA evidence has always been, I guess, presented as being the ultimate um, <clears throat> the telltale as to whether or not somebody committed a crime. And this is a good example of where DNA evidence doesn't necessarily mean that the, the person who, uh, whose DNA was found is actually in any way related to the crime. They didn't partake in it. And so I think it is super important for us to at least individually take a look at how we judge other people. And I think it's very important for us from a, a, a legal system standpoint to always provide people with the benefit of, of doubt unless there's overwhelming, overwhelming evidence that someone actually did something wrong because just one piece of evidence could land somebody in jail and prison um, unjustly.